Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Christ. May our Father sanctify you with his truths through his Son, Christ. We thank our Father for Christ. We thank Yahweh for his Holy Spirit. Um, I'm going to go over a dream that I had, and I was very hesitant on putting this out. But I'm going to go ahead and put it out with this dream. I desire for you to test the dream. Okay. Um, in this dream, it was made known to me that it was a um, Christian game show. All right. In this dream, I was in the midst of an audience, and I was somewhat ho hovered slightly over them, not quietly in the audience, but I was just somewhat like a fly on the wall. This audience that I seen was um, a decent size. It wasn't a big audience. Okay, and with that, um, I was facing a small stage. And on the stage were four pastors or four teachers of of the gospel, okay, of scripture. Okay. Okay, so from the left to the right, this is how I seen it, okay? From starting from the left, there were two I almost did not notice them because they seemed like they were just there, okay? No attention um, was given to them. They were not like in the spotlight in this dream, all right? It was two that were sitting down, okay? Like I say, they seemed almost unnoticeable, Okay, but they was just there. And then the um, third one, I noticed was a worldly prosperity pastor. Very energetic guy. And he was dressed a bit worldly. And he was excited. Like I say, in this dream, it was made known that this was a Christian game show. And then... This pastor was excited to win. And in this Christian game show, they were winning money. Okay? So this prosperity worldly pastor was excited and he was pumped to win this money. Okay? And when I seen him, I forgot what my first expression was. But it wasn't good. Okay, but this is the majority of, uh, this is the type of uh, pastors we have today, all right? And then right next to him, this is what I did not understand. This is why I hesitated on um, putting this video out there, okay? Then right next to him, the fourth pastor that I seen was the late David Wilkerson, that's who I seen in my dream. And with seeing him, he was not pleased, nor was he happy at all. He just stood there. He spoke a little bit, but not too much. He didn't speak he didn't speak in excitement. He spoke and had the look of him being concerned for the people. Okay, but he was there. Um, let's see. I'm 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 basically reading off what I wrote down right when I woke up, so I won't forget this dream. Okay, as I said, when it first started, when the dream first started, it was made known to me that this was a was a game show where pastors or teachers would answer bible questions like bible trivia and when i heard that 
in my dream, I said, this seems very interesting. And to me, it did seem very interesting, okay? Um, and I also said to myself, this is on TV? I remember saying that to myself in this dream. And when I seen and heard the prosperity pastor, I wasn't so pleased. But the crowd, okay, listen to that, my brothers and sisters. But the crowd loved him. And he made them laugh. And um, after that, I woke up. Um, and when I woke up, I just stayed in my bed because I was still tired. And then uh, I started to pray after remembering this dream. And I began praying and saying to the Lord, Lord, is this dream from you? If so, confirmed by giving me the same dream or having me to dream the same dream again then I fell asleep and I was back in this game show but it was small clips then I woke up again and then I said to myself I was just speaking to myself when I woke up I said this can't be prophetic because the late David Wilkerson has passed away. He can't be on that game show. And I began to question a lot about this dream. And I was saying to myself, maybe this, maybe that. Maybe God meant this and that. And with me saying that, I fell asleep again. And in my dream, I heard a a, a soft audible voice clearly saying to me why are you trying to alter it that's what the voice said in my dream the voice wasn't angry but it was a question in wondering instead of me trusting so that's the reason I'm posting this video As the Lord says, if it doesn't come true, it was not from him. Okay? So that I'm just following that last voice as I slept, and I was saying this can't be prophetic because the late David Wilkerson has passed away. This can't be prophetic. But then I went back to sleep. A soft, audible voice clearly said to me, why are you trying to alter it? And then I woke up, and I remembered all three. And I said, let me go ahead and put this out. Because there's sometimes when you do dream dreams, and when you do, when God gives you visions, there's some that's in parables where you don't understand. You just don't understand. But you just must, you, there's times where you just have to be obedient. God is basically wanting you to put it out for a reason. There's, there's, uh, our ancestors in the Old Testament given dreams by the Lord, visions by the Lord of parables. They don't, they didn't understand anything, but they were obedient to the Lord and put them out there. Especially Daniel in the book of Daniel. Daniel said he said he had dreams of rams. He had dream. He had a dream of ram of a ram. He had a dream of a goat. That one had one long horn. One had small. One small long horn. He had a dream of the beast coming out of the sea. This is physical things that he had seen in his dream, though he did not understand it. In his right mind, he would have said, "No way possible. This isn't prophetic. I'm not writing this down." Same thing with the Book of Revelation with John. But he still wrote it down. So I'm just putting this video out there. If it comes true, it is from the Lord. But testing. Y'all take care.